Good afternoon. Today we're in a new location and we're going to try a new beer. I'm back on the uh, time warp frame here. This is a Showa beer. The Showa period uh, 88, 1988. And they're calling this beer a classic. It's a clean classic beer. It's a little bit hoppy in a good way. Along with that, I'm going to make some lunch here. I'm going to have a chicken ramen. This is also a Showa classic. This is the original uh, instant ramen from 1958. And it comes with the flavor already in it. You don't have to add a packet. So we just add hot water. Typically what I'd want to do is stick a raw egg in that little hole, but I don't have a raw egg handy, so what I will do is put a hard-boiled egg in. Alright, back to the beer. All right, this one has, um, yeah, it has the classic taste, cheap, cheap taste of things you associate with show uh, pre-bubble era, of course. This one has malt, hops, rice, and cornstarch. It was 4.5% alcohol. Uh, it's a lighter, a lighter body than an all-malt beer, and. Um, I think I'd have to say it's a little bit stinky and hoppy, but not in a bad way. However, the carbonation is that kind that makes you feel like you're going to get a little erpy, which means it should go really well with ramen. Beer and ramen go very well together. It says on the packet here that you're supposed to leave it for three minutes. The classic preparation method is like that. Uh, but I actually like my noodles a little bit firmer than that, so I'm going to go ahead and dig in. So, tadakimasu. Mmm. Cheap ramen. Cheap beer. I'm going to give that a seven. Yeah, for its um, herpy properties. Nothing you can say about ramen. It just is what it is. But this one's pretty good. All right, lovelies. See you next time.